Um, I came here today feeling really bad and like a really big weight was on my shoulders and I just got prayed for it. It feels like the cloud is gone. It feels like I'm feel straight. I feel so much lighter. I feel so much better. And it's the best thing I did this year is to come here so I can be free and set free from everything. And, and what was going on before? You were feeling very tired? And I was feeling really tired. And just, like, a lot of burning, I just heaviness on me, and just weighing me down, and just unhappiness. I just feel a lot worse. Jesus set you free. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, and uh, what's your name? Martha. Okay, Martha. Um, tell me this, when, uh, when you came in, what is it that you wanted uh, God to do for you? I know you said something about breathing and right, your feet. Right, uh -huh, because I was suffering from asthma. Okay. And also from diabetes. W what about um, with the asthma, what did that do for your breathing? After he blessed me, you know, I can breathe so clear now. Uh -huh. I mean, I can feel oxygen all the way in, you know, <laughs> which I couldn't do before. How, how was it before? Um, it was shallow, you okay. know, and I used to always have to take, a, you know, use an atomizer you know, so that I could breathe well. Uh -huh. And uh, hopefully my chronic cough goes away also. Um, and well, I won't know till later, but you know, I'm sure that it has, but I can't find it tickling in my throat anymore. Okay, so before when you would take a, could you take a deep breath before? Well, if I took a deep breath, it wouldn't go all the way in. Oh, you know? and you could feel that. And I could feel that, but now I can. How about know? this, can you just right now take a deep breath? Yes, and you know, it goes all the way down. Wow. I mean, before it couldn't, wow. it couldn't. It would just like reach here, uh -huh. you know. But it's and it's wonderful. What it's about wonderful. the tickling when you take a deep breath now? I don't. I can't find the tickling. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. really good. Great. Okay. Yeah. How about you said something yeah, about your feet? Yeah, I had some numbness in my feet, and I guess it's due to having diabetes. Okay. I I, I mean, he's less. And you know, I've had this numbness for quite a while, but now it's gone. How long you do know? you think you had the numbness? Oh. It must be about maybe three, four years. Three or four years. Yeah. And so you know, it, it comes on gradually, you know. Okay. Um, you know, like you saw with the toes and it works the way up. And, uh, you know, like it was in the middle of my foot, but now... You wouldn't have been able to, like, feel anything. No, I can feel, but it's just that the numbness is there. Oh, but I can feel, but you, you know. Knew it's it was not totally numbness. numb, okay. you know. What about but now? Is it numb now? No, 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 no. <laughs> is it... Just now I can feel my gone. toes. You can... <laughs> <laughs> That's but, pretty yeah. good. But yeah, it's great. So then God uh, yes, really sure healed did. your toes yeah. from yep. the numbness. And my breathing. And the breathing. Yes. That is excellent. Thank you. Well, oh, praise yes. God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yes, thank okay. you. Um, now, what, what's your name? May, M-A-Y. May? Yeah. Okay, May. Now, you came here tonight and you wanted God to heal you. What, what specifically did, uh, did you get prayer for? I got prayer for high blood pressure and gout. And I came in with the pain on my right feet, my foot. And I thank God it's all gone after the blessing. The, the, the pain in your right foot? Foot, yeah. It hurt before you got yeah, prayer. it did. How's it feel now? It's good. I don't feel anything. Really? It's so all the walking. All the all is all the pain gone? All gone. Wow. And you can and you can walk. Can walk better. Doesn't hurt like it did. Nothing at all. That's pretty good. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. God healed you then. Yes. Oh, praise God. Praise God. What you asked for, you know, for healing for? I asked for healing for my 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 stomach and for my my calves. I've had um, I've had ulcers now for over ten years in my stomach and um, upper gastrointestinal problems, and I've had problems in my calves. I had a condition called compartment syndrome, and uh, that's been bothering me for over seven years now. That's with your legs. With my calves. calves. That's been bothering me for over seven years now. And my stomach's been bothering me for over 10. Okay. Those that flow problems in my stomach. Yeah. And so you went to lots of, did you go to different doctors? Yeah, I've, I've, I'm in the military. I've been to doctors in the in the U.S. I've been to doctors in Germany, North Carolina, here. Um, I've been to see doctors in North Carolina, Germany, uh, Bosnia. I got to see some doctors while I was in Bosnia about the problems in my legs. But it's not better? They didn't get? I've even, no, I've, I, had, I had the surgeries here on my legs to try to fix it and it still hasn't hasn't stopped the problems. It was, there was a normal level of pain that I had become accustomed to and and as he was praying for me I felt that pain go away. I felt I mean, it's it's weird now. It's I, I remember I remember what normal existence without pain was but it's been so long since I felt it that that now to not feel any pain in my <laughs> legs is just so different. To, to actually be able to say, I don't feel any pain and truly mean it and truly believe that that I am healed and I know that I am healed. That's what and, you feel now? Right. 
and, uh -huh. and the, the absence of pain is what's amazing about it. What about with your stomach? There was always like a bubbling inside my stomach, you know, like a tightness inside my stomach that, uh, and I've, I've had to modify my diet, suffer, all kinds of things to, to try not to, to upset my stomach. And, and like I was saying, Zantac has become a normal part of daily eating. And, and now nothing, I, I, honest, I don't feel any, any pain in my stomach, no worry, no regrets, no, no, no harboring ill feelings, nothing. I, I feel good. I really do feel good. Wow. Your legs and your stomach. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Well, thanks a lot. No problem. Okay, uh, now I got uh, Damien again, and this is with uh, your wife. Um, w w what's your name? Allison. Allison. Okay, well, we already got uh, where Damien got miraculously healed, your legs and uh, in your stomach. And Allison, you wanted prayer too. Well, what did you want God to do for you today? I wanted God to help me to put my past behind me. Your past? Family, yes. Okay. Because um, I've been plagued with fears and anxieties that stemmed out of abuse as a child, out of losing an ex-boyfriend, and out of um, fear of my husband not understanding me. And um, when you say losing an ex-boyfriend, what do you mean specifically? He died in a car accident. Okay. So fear of, so, so that, that fear was still with yes, you that maybe... Yes, it was. The fear, the fear that other people around me would die and, and that I would be, you know, left again, I guess, basically, and, sure. and, and the fear of of dealing with more trauma and shock, I guess. I think I've been in shock so for a long time. Okay, so, so then it, it followed, I think you're saying it followed you, you felt a, just a lot of anxiety, constant. Yes. Okay. Um, I felt everything welled up and, and just come out of me. I mean, I just started to cough and I finally, I felt in the presence of the Lord, I felt like like he was holding me and that I was crying on his shoulder and that he was telling me it was going to be okay and I really truly knew that I was going to be okay and that I could put everything behind me and I could move on with my life uh, and that I could live my life to glorify him and be the person that he intended me to be. Would, would, would it be safe to say you feel a lot more peace now? Yes, I do. How about uh, tonight when you go to sleep? Um, I'm actually looking forward to it because I know I'm going to have a nice peaceful sleep. <laughs> okay. Excellent. I brought my grandson to church with me on um, Sunday. And he's five years old and he was born with um, congenitive something or other, they called it. And they just, he's five, four and a half years old before he went to the eye doctors. And they said at that time that he couldn't see out of his eyes less than like maybe right here and um, he was something percent blind and so um, they gave him big thick glasses and everything like that so he's been wearing them and, and um, so I brought him on on uh, I brought him on um, Sunday and we, we brought him up for prayer and uh, we did some little tests with him and, and backed away and at the beginning he couldn't see how many fingers we had up and then after we prayed for him, and then he could count the fingers. So I, I believe he's he's healed in Jesus' name. And then his mom came to, they live out in Waimea, and his mom came to pick him up. And I was already at work that night, so she was talking to my other daughter, and James had a chance to pray with my other daughter that day. And uh, so she was giving her testimony about her, you know, her start of deliverance with um, Mac. He was praying for her. And my daughter carries, and then she told her about Tyson being healed, and my daughter was so happy. And she said, you know what? She said, I want deliverance. No, crazy. And I just thought, that's the start. And his ear, yeah. His ear opened up. Yeah, he couldn't hear out of his wow, ear. And it opened up. So. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God.
I personally had hepatitis C. My uh, count, blood count, was in the thousands. It is now uh, about 21, and I have no problems. I have no medication that's necessary. The depression is gone. The tiredness is gone. The pain is gone, and this is all because of praying and being healed by God. Now there is such a deliverance and change in my life that there is no words I can even describe it. I also had. Uh, really bad bleeding ulcers that I was praying and believed that God would heal me and they were gone. Now I would go back and get more tests done with the doctors and the doctors could not figure out what, how, what happened. And I am... Because it just didn't show up on the x-rays? It didn't show up. Nothing showed up. They did an upper GI on me. Everything that was there was completely gone, disappeared. My blood just became pure again. Uh, there's there's just no words to describe it, and it's there for anybody and everybody. They just have to believe and trust in God, and God will heal you. That's amazing. And then when you, you had the um, hepatitis C test, you went back. Uh, the doctor couldn't believe your counts were so low. Exactly. And so he, he tested you. Again and again. I kept getting more blood tests. And it, they, they couldn't figure out because I was not on the interferon or anything. I just got prayed over, and it was I was healed. What was your doctor's name? Dr. Jonathan James. Okay. Okay, well, great. Amen. So, the end result of this, 40 pounds down later, I went to the doctor today, blood, sugar, 100, not 200. Uh, 76 pulse, no high blood pressure. Don't take the pills, don't take the pills. I'm excited about it. And I got And there's no pain now? No And you had pain in your back too, huh? And then no pain in your back. And uh how's the pain you have pain in your heart? No. No? So you must be healed then. Amen. Are you surprised? No. <laughs> no? You're expecting a miracle? Yeah, man. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Good. Thank you. I had a knee problem. And it's better now? It's better. Tell me how it was before. Huh? 
How was it before? Well, I couldn't walk. <laughs> I, I was going to stay home today, but I knew that today was healing, so I wanted to come and get healed. So praise God. And now, now you feel no pain? Well, I, I feel slight, but then before I couldn't walk at all or bend my legs, so I'm, praise God. So can you show me how you walk now? Uh, can you show me? Walk it out. Could you say your name for the minister? Florentine Tittle. 